Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Season 4 of Heroes. So in this season, the characters find themselves up against a carnival known as Sullivan Brothers Carnival, and their leader is Samuel Sullivan. Samuel has huge plans for the next string of performances, and the heroes have to prevent him from carrying out these plans. So this was the final season for five years until Heroes Reborn came around. The show was cancelled after this season due to low ratings. I mean with season one, you had anywhere between 11 and 16 million US viewers compared to season four, which only had about four to six million US viewers. This is also a very debatable season. Some consider it to be one of the better seasons while others consider it to be one of the worst. Unfortunately, I'm on the latter end of the spectrum. I think it's one of the worst. I mean, you could honestly feel the creative exhaustion of the writers at this point. That being said, it isn't terrible, but it could have been so much better and a potential return to form for heroes. So first of all, I kind of appreciate the more back-to-basics approach that season 4 took. Whereas with the previous seasons, the show aimed to be bigger and bigger, but bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. So it was nice to see the season scale things down a little bit again. The returning characters had some interesting storylines. First of all, Hero is suffering from a brain tumor which is affecting his abilities. And at one point, in a controversial move, he decides to go back in time and bring somebody back from the dead. Peter is now trying to live a normal life. He's back to being a paramedic, he's cut all ties with his family and avoids contact with them. But all of that changes when he, among other characters, are discovered by Samuel. His brother Nathan is struggling with something that directly ties into the big risk that the ending of season 3 had taken. Claire Bennett is now trying to live a normal life as well. She's studying at a university until she's eventually called into action once again. And at the very end of the season, she makes a decision that has a dire effect on the events of Heroes Reborn. As for Matt Parkman, an ability that he used towards the end of season 3 is now taking its toll on him and he tries to fight it. And Sila, I think he had a great arc this season. He goes on this sort of inner journey if you will and I like where he ends up at the end of the season. I even liked some of the new characters as well. Firstly there's the main antagonist. Samuel Sullivan. He's played by Robert Nepo, who you'll recognize as Teabag from Prison Break. I think I'd rather be watching that right now than even talking about heroes. Anyway, Samuel is one of the best villains on the show. Probably the best villain since Sila. He has a fascinating backstory that involves his late brother Joseph back when he was running the carnival, and it also involves Mohinda Suresh's father and he's a lot more sympathetic than I thought he would be. There's Edgar who's also a member of the carnival and he's played by Ray Park aka Darth Maul. He has enhanced super speed and he's an expert with knives. But what I really like about him is that he does not kill unless absolutely necessary. There's Emma Coolidge, a deaf woman who works in the same hospital as Peter. She has a form of synesthesia that Samuel becomes interested in. There's a student by the name of Gretchen Bug. She is studying at the same university as Claire and the two form an interesting friendship. And the finale definitely surprised me. It had an exciting climax, a satisfying conclusion to Sila's arc, and a cliffhanger that served as the basis for Heroes Reborn. It's a shame because some people were excited to see what would happen next and then the show got cancelled. We did get Heroes Reborn, but it took another five years for that to happen, and that got cancelled after one season, so... Yeah, there's that. So, here are all my problems with Season 4. 
Firstly, it recycles a lot of familiar plot points because they're all part of the show's formula and they do very little to change things up. Secondly, I know I mentioned earlier that I appreciate the smaller scale, though I found it to be a little bit too small. It felt like it never really evolved beyond that. Some of the returning characters were kind of shoved off to the side, or their fates were left dangling by the end of the season. This season is known as Volume 5 Redemption and consists of 18 episodes. And the first episode, Orientation, is a double episode for some reason. It's like an hour and a half. I get that they probably wanted to do a double episode premiere, but the problem is they didn't do that. They released this as a single episode. I think if they had split the premiere in two, making the whole thing add up to 19 episodes instead of 18 episodes, it would have been a bit more comprehensible. But the biggest issue I have is how drawn out and convoluted this season is. The first half had one too many ideas and I had no idea where the story was going. I had no idea what Samuel's intentions were. So it kind of bored me. So yeah, that was my review of the final season of Heroes. Next time we're going to be looking at Heroes Reborn, the miniseries. And just a heads up, I actually kind of liked it, even though most people don't like it. So look forward to that soon. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like the video, share it and subscribe. Hit the notification icon. Be safe during this time and I'll see you soon.